What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K O Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure you follow me there too. And it's time to get this right. Some video started. I was given this request by Shepham. I shouldn't even do it because Shepham, he tried to mess with me on my last live, but that's all right. It's the story of Anata Shisha. And it said, you know, it's no more about the Krishna Lax Laxman Balram avatar. You know, I'm always about to Krishna. Of Lord Vishnu and, and Shinag. So I was like, I got to check this out. It's a good informative video, it looks like, of the snake bed of Vishnu. You all ready to do this? You ready to watch this with me? Let's go. <laughs> Oftentimes, Hindus adore and worship not only Devi, Devata, and Upadevatas, but also their Vahanas, such as the case of Sheshanag also known simply as Shesha or Adishesha. This, this large snake is the Nagaraj or the king of the Naga race and one of the primal beings of creation itself. Adishesha holds an important position in Hindu philosophy, art, culture and literature. In the Puranas, Shesha or Sheshanag is believed to hold all the planets of the universe on his vast hood. An ardent devotee of Lord Vishnu, he constantly sings the glories of his Lord from all his mouths. He is sometimes referred to as Anantashesha, which means the endless or the infinite one. It is said that when Adishesha uncoils, time begins to move forward and creation starts to take place. When he comes back to his coiled position, time stands still and universe ceases to exist. Adishesha is depicted as a massive coiled snake and one that floats in space or on the ocean of milk. The ocean of milk, that's... On the ocean, he forms a bed on which Lord Vishnu reclines, with Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, at his feet. Look at that. Shesha is sometimes portrayed either as a five-headed or seven-headed serpent. They can't... More commonly, though, he is depicted as a thousand-headed serpent a thousand with heads. each of his Bye. head it goes from wearing an ornate crown. That escalates quickly. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord back. Krishna declares, Anantascha asmi naganam. This means, of the Nagas, I am Ananta. This is proof enough of Ananta Shesha's importance in Hindu philosophy. Mm. According to Mahabharata, Shesha was born to Rishi Kashyap and his wife Kadru, one of the daughters of Daksha. In due course of time, him. Kadru gave birth to a thousand snakes, of which Shesha was the eldest. After him, Vasuki, Airavat, and Takshak were born in that order. Many of Shesha's brothers were cruel by nature and took great pleasure in inflicting harm upon others. Not Shesha. Kashyap mm -hmm. also sired Garuda through Vinatha, Kadru's sister. Shesha's brothers were unkind to him as well. Aww. Disgusted with the bad behavior of his brothers, Shesha left his family and decided to undertake severe austerities and penance. He lived merely on air and meditated in a number of places including Gandhamadana, Badrikashram, Pushkar, and Gokarna the and the Himalayas. Mm. Pleased with his dedication and devotion, Brahma appeared before Shesha and told him to ask for a boon. Shesha requested that he should be able to keep his mind under control so that he could continue with his ascetic practices. That was good. Brahma gladly bestowed the boon upon him. That's something right there. Brahma then asked a favor of Shesha to go beneath earth and stabilize it. The latter was only too happy to be given the new responsibility. He immediately went to Patal Lok, raised his hood and balanced the earth over it. It is believed that he supports the earth even today. Wow. Adi Shesha, Sri Mahavishnu's prime devotee, saw to it that he accompanied his lord even during his avatars. He had descended oh. to earth in two human forms, There's namely Lakshman and Balaram. 
When Vishnu came to earth as Ram, Shesha accompanied him as his ever devoted, ever loving I mean, younger brother? brother Lakshman. Lakshman's devotion and dedication to Ram was exemplary. Yeah. He mm-hmm. selflessly served his brother, never once thinking mm-hmm. of his own comfort. He was always by his side. When Ram went on exile, Lakshman left his wife behind and accompanied his brother to the forest. There, his main mission that. was to serve and protect Ram and Sita at all times. When Vishnu manifested as Krishna, Shesha came along with him as his elder brother Balaram. One lesser known legend of the Mahabharat claims that Adi Shesha was present along with Krishna even during the great war of Kurukshetra. According to the story, the divine serpent supported the wheels of Arjuna's chariot, thereby also protecting the Pandava prince from harm while on the battlefield. After the end of each of Vishnu's avatar, Shesha returns back to his abode in the Patal Lok. Did you know in every avatar of Vishnu, Adi Shesha would die before him? It is important to know that as Lakshmana and Balaram were the incarnation of Sheshnag on whom Lord Vishnu resides, it is essential for Shesha to die before the incarnation of Vishnu so that when Vishnu gives up his life and returns to Vaikuntadham, Oh, Ananda Shesha there. is ready, ready to, to serve greet him. his lord. Oh. In both of Shesha's avatars as Lakshman and Balaram, he ended his avatar before Vishnu to serve Lord Vishnu in Vaikuntadham. To know more about the death of Talk Lakshman about, listen, and Balaram... Talk in, about devotion. <laughs> that is devotion. Even when Lord, he come back as the different avatars, he was always there by his side. And that makes sense because you would think, Ram... That bro- I didn't even know, realize the brother had a wife that he left just to go and be at Ram's side to help him protect him. Devotion. And then you hear so much too, this watching Mahabharat and Krishna's brother through the times, always by his side, devotion. I mean, and then he would die before the Lord and all the avatars that come back just so he can be there to greet... <sighs> I like this Shisha. <laughs> I, I had never heard of this until now. Thank you, Shabham, for uh, requesting this. So many, this is what I want. So many things go back to snakes with the end, right? Like you, like not only this, oh my eye, but you look at like Lord Shiv. Lord Shiv, so it got the snake and, and when they were churning, did the whole churn milking and the churning snakes? I mean, just it's really a part, a big part of it. And for me, I have such a fear of snakes. I gotta get over that. <laughs> I gotta get over that. I think it helps some watching this and and seeing the devotion of snake and Lord Shiv's connection. Just all of it. It helps a little bit. I still have the fear though. I see a snake. I, I think because I'm like I don't. Is it poisonous? Is it a nice snake? Because you know. On the flip side, growing up as a Christian in the Catholic Church, snakes were like the serpents. They were like, so they would come like in, in the Bible and stuff. They were the serpents, you know, they would come when evil's done. Like even from the beginning of time, it was, you know, Adam and Eve there. And, and the serpent came as a snake and got him to eat the apple. So maybe that's a part of like the fear you think of like bad things like when you think of a snake, like the serpents and evil. But this is like uh, the this the Hindu brings more of the love for creatures, and that would make sense. I mean, we're all God's, our, our Lord God's creatures, right? If you want to call them, you know, the God Vishnu, we're all you know creatures of uh, the higher being. And so it makes sense not to just a uh, one one species on earth the snakes to to demonize them and, and eat make them evil but he's a creature too you know god's creature too so it makes sense to that they are part of our honor and worship and i i just i just appreciate that about this i still gotta get over my my fear of snakes though but i think it'll come i think it'll come let me know what you think comments thumbs all that until next time Mwah.